morning, bros. Today we're gonna button up the Chevrolet Silverado project here. We have to bleed the brakes and we got to go take it for a test drive and then we gotta bring it back and clean and clean it up. So let's get this Chevy all buttoned up, guys. So we went to do the automated bleed on these because that's what these Chevys need. Here's the problem. When you hook up, hook up the scan tool to it, the sensors are missing because, you know, it's a solid front, front axle now. So the ABS sensors are missing from the front. So the scan tool says, hey, you know, those sensors are missing and basically without them, I can't run the automated bleed. So all we can really do is gravity bleed it and kind of do a, you know, a, a pressure brake pedal, hold pressure, open up the valve bleed. We can kind of do that but it's gonna have a really stiff, weird pedal until we pull out the ABS module and run a traditional T, like an 80s truck without ABS. Um, Cause you know, it's an axle without a ABS. And I mean, on you know, when you're have, you know, like this truck has 38, 15 fives, and you have a tire that big, you really don't need an anti-lock brakes because you got such a big tire for, you know, traction, you're gonna hit your brakes. It's gonna grip really good on the road compared to like, you know, a stock small tire. So it's not really a big deal to eliminate ABS out of these, but you know, with that kind of, kind of a system and no real way to uh, put wiring dummies in there, you really just eliminate it and um, run a T and then run traditional brakes. I mean, so that's what we'll have to do on this truck in, in the future if Eric plans on keeping it. We'll upgrade the brake system for him then and um, take care of that then. But what we're gonna do now is we got him bled the best we could. So we're gonna kind of just clean it up a little bit, take it for a test drive, make sure everything functions the, the, the way it's supposed to. We'll bring it back and give it a nice detail, get a little bit of metal dust out of the hood and clean up the inner fenders and stuff. Just kind of detail, detail it up a little bit so it looks nice for Eric when he gets here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Test drive went well, broke in the brakes. Now we just got to deep detail up the fender wells and kind of in the engine compartment where there's metal dust and stuff. So let's get that cleaned up.
all finished up on the Chevrolet. Today it was kind of a shorter video, you know, because we just kind of got in here this morning. Eric brought us um, a new Odyssey or Optima. Odysseys don't have to get changed out very, very often because they're good batteries. But his Optima um, yellow top, it went dead after just being, being out in the yard for two months. Um, so he went and got up and got that warrant. He drove up to, to Olympia where, where he got it. The O'Reilly's up there. Got it warranted, brought it back to us, and we got that in. And then we were able to, we tried the automated brake bleed, and then we realized, oh wait, the ABS sen the sen sensors are missing up front, and without those, um, the uh, scan tool won't do the brake bleed process. So we have to figure out a way to dummy those, or just completely eliminate ABS out of the truck, which when you have a 38, 15.5 tire, you really don't need an anti-lock brakes, because you know, your stock tires are so small, you have such, such a small contact patch. With these, you get your brakes really hard, get on them really hard or you know you're in a lifted truck too you can't really follow you know a car length behind people you need to have to have like four and give yourself more room and if you're in the situation where you need anti-lock brakes in a lifted truck like this well you're driving like like an idiot you're driving too close to somebody you're driving too fast or something you've got to you know drive these trucks a little slower you, get, you can give yourself more room, room for braking and stuff like that so but anyways, you know, we, we tried the brake bleed, so we just did a, a, tr a traditional, you know, pump the pedal, hold pressure, open the bleeder on the brake caliper. It's all we really could do, and it kind of gave you a squishy pedal, but until we either eliminate the ABS and just run a T in a traditional sy sy system, which is super easy to set up, or figure out a way to, for, to uh, dummy these out. So, and do the, you know, spend the time in R&D to figure that out, which takes time and money to do that so we'll see what Eric want, wants to do but most likely he'll just drive it around like this for a while and or change it out to regular non ABS braking system on it so but hey guys thanks for watching today thanks for your constant support as always please let us know what you think of the truck drop a comment in the comment box and um, if you guys like Cougar House Garage you like what we do check us out at CougarHouseGarage.com check us out at Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage and we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram, guys. Follow, follow, follow along there with all the great, crazy projects. And uh, we'll, catch, we'll catch you guys tomorrow.